Hey boos, it's Chef Millie Pearcher here. Guess what month it is? National Soul Food History Month. And because it's National Soul Food History Month, I'm gonna show you how to make authentic New Orleans Southern po boy. These are all the ingredients you're gonna need to make an authentic Southern po boy. Sub rolls, normally it's French bread, but couldn't find it here in New York, so I went to my local bodega, three, four dollar. I made a ramelade sauce with capers, relish, mayo, creole mustard, uh, Cajun seasoning. It was just a bowl of goodness, hot sauce, cayenne pepper. So we're gonna use that to slather on our bread. We have a combination of lettuce, tomato, onion sliced really thin, and pickles. And then I have some shrimp, 1620. And what 1620 means, you'll get approximately 16 to 20 shrimp per pound. You want a nice size shrimp, something that's not too big and something not too small. You want to be able to eat it as a sandwich and be able to feel the texture and the crispness of the shrimp when we fry it. I have some buttermilk, some hot sauce, and I have a seasoning blend I made of garlic powder, onion powder, Cajun seasoning, pepper, salt, and you can pretty much add anything you want. Even if you want to add Old Bay to it, please make it your own. And then in this bowl, I have equal parts of all-purpose flour, cornmeal, with the same seasonings I'm going to add to the shrimp mixed in this bowl with a little bit of cornstarch for extra crunch. So we're gonna take our shrimp in this bowl. We're gonna add some buttermilk. And we're gonna add a couple dashes of hot sauce. I like it spicy. And then you'll mix it. And then you'll chill it for about 20 minutes or so. So now that we've had our shrimp chilling in our seasoned buttermilk mixture, we're going to dredge it in our flour, cornmeal, cornstarch mixer. So of course, we're a mixture. So we're gonna use super clean hands. So I don't want the glove police coming on here to watch. She's not using gloves. I'm at home, I wash my hands. If you wanna use gloves, please feel free to use gloves. Okay, so we're gonna dredge these one by one. Or you can do a couple at a time. But you don't want to put too many because you don't want this um, mixture to clump up. And for a sandwich this size, I use approximately eight to 10 shrimp but you can use a little bit less, you can use a little bit more. It's your sandwich, you can use as much as you like, but you don't want everything to fall out. You wanna be able to taste all the flavor of the shrimp in the sandwich with all the toppings that we're gonna put in here. Okay, so now we have our shrimp evenly coated, and we're going to drop it in 350 degree oil. Um, I already have it up to temperature with a candy thermometer. And here's the thing about oil. I'm frying this in some chicken grease I had left over. There's nothing wrong with reusing oil. You don't have to use fresh oil every time. Just make sure you drain it out, get the, um, the remnants of whatever you fr um, fried in the oil, whether it's flour, whether it's from french fries. Just make sure you clean out the oil completely, add it back to a clean pot, and bring it back up to temperature. I wouldn't recommend using oil more than two or three times, only because sometimes the flavors will transfer over, and you don't want that. Now we're gonna fry our shrimp. And we're gonna remember we're not gonna over towel this pan. So now we deep fry our shrimp approximately three to five minutes. We wanna make sure that they curl. Um, we don't want them, we don't wanna cook them too long so they'll get tough. So right now we have a beautiful golden brown, nice and crispy, crunchy. And we're gonna to start to build our sandwich. So we're gonna take one of our rolls, we're gonna cut the ends off, and totally feel free to leave the ends on if you like the ends. And we're gonna slice it all the way through. I'm gonna put some ramelade on both sides. And if you don't like ramelade, you can use mayonnaise. So I'm gonna spread both sides of the sandwich. And then we're gonna to start to build from here. So we're going to add some lettuce. And we're gonna add some um, tomatoes. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt. And I'm going to hit it with some pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna add some thinly sliced red onion. A couple slices of pickle. And now I'm gonna add my shrimp. I'm gonna put my top on. Cut. And there you guys have it. An authentic New Orleans whole plate. So guys, here it is, our finished, authentic style New Orleans po' boy. And now the best part, we're gonna taste. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. 
This is exactly like I remember going to New Orleans with my mom when I was a child. It's very reminiscent of that French Quarter. Bring it back to my childhood. If you'd like to follow more of my recipes, please follow me at Chef Millie Pantry on Instagram. And if you'd like to do more, please follow my Essential Meals initiative. The link is in my bio.